Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hotheads of all ages, welcome back to another food review here on YouTube. And today we are reviewing this El Monterey's Ghost Pepper Burritos. Most of you should be familiar with these uh, cheap microwave burritos. I really like them, um, especially when you have the time to do them in the oven. If not, microwave's okay, but they come in large varieties of flavors. They're pretty inexpensive, they fill you up, and so I'm really, really familiar with them. I was excited to see today, as I posted on Twitter, that they offer now a ghost pepper flavor. So we're going to dive into these, see if they have good flavor, good heat, and good balance, and give you my overall opinion. Now, I was able to pick up two packs of these. Um, they're an eight count. I got two packs for seven bucks, so I got 16 of them for seven dollars. And for someone who likes these burritos, I figure that's a pretty good, good price. Um, for this review, I did um, just microwave them. Nothing special. And... Yeah, so I'm going to eat one, try it out, see what I think, see if it's spicy, um, and see if it's if, if, if they're worth it. All right, so without further ado. Chicken, bean, and rice flavor chimichangas. So initial thoughts is it tastes just like a regular El Monterey. Flavor is what you would expect. I'm getting a little tingling on the tongue. I'm actually getting a little ghost pepper flavor. Um, some of that like bitter smokiness. It's a very hot um, temperature wise because I just took these out of the, the microwave. A couple more bites. I'm only going to finish this one. I don't want to make this video too long. I figured once you finish one of these, you've had the full effect of the heat. All right. So that's done. Um, so let's start at the beginning. Flavor, nothing special. And by that I mean it's nothing out of the ordinary from any other of the El Monterey burrito varieties. You know, each one's kind of like a hamburger helper or like a ramen noodle, even though it says it's a different flavor, at all, they all kind of just taste the same. Um, and there's no different with this one. It's not bad, it's not great, it's a cheap burrito. Spice level. Um, I'm getting some level of spice feeling in, in the mouth, on the tongue. Ghost pepper like Carolina Reaper and Scorpion Trinidad are a building spice. Um, that's why there's a bloom afterwards. Um, to me, is it spicy? Not at all. To people who are super sensitive to spice, who, who use like mild sauce at Taco Bell, might find this a little out of their comfort zone, but is extremely doable. It's a good entry into a spicy burrito. Um, but it's, it's not spicy. I mean, I'm not even needing to reach for my drink at all. The balance. Seeing as the, the, the spice level is low and the, the taste or the flavor isn't very prominent, these kind of work pretty well together. It's just a spicier version of one of their burritos. <clears throat> so the balance is, is pretty on par, you know. Not overly flavorful, not overly spicy, even though it is ghost pepper. Um, so the conclusion. Would I recommend these? Sure. They're good. You know? Um, they'd make a, a good snack or a quick little meal. Um, being spicier, pro probably being the spiciest of all the El Monterey offerings, even though I've had all... I don't know if I've had all of them, but I've had a lot of them. I regularly buy, like, a spicy jalapeno and, and red bean one and stuff. Um, I will buy these again. Um, for sure. So hopefully that helps you make a decision on whether or not you want to try these ghost pepper el monterey burritos uh this was the chicken bean and rice i think i said beef earlier bean and rice chimichanga um yeah well, not more else to say so as always uh if you like this video hit a thumbs up if you hated it thumbs down let's start a discussion comment down below if you had them what you thought of them um and until next time let's keep chasing that heat keep it popping my name is Scram Vision, I am a bearded dragon, and I'll see you on that next one.